It is 6 a.m. right now, which is extremely early for people like Steve and I. <laughs> but that's okay. It's actually not early enough because we overslept again. Shh. <laughs> but that's okay. You know why? We are going, going on a road, road trip! trip. stop at a gas station to fuel up maybe it's time for us to tell you guys where the hell we're actually yeah. going <laughs> yeah we're going on a five-day road trip through Bavaria in Germany on the romantic road mm -hmm. uh, the romantic road was created after World War II to um, promote Germany and to attract tourists to Germany the road itself isn't the romantic part, but the villages along the road are the main attraction. There are a lot of villages along the road, but sadly we don't have enough time to do all of them. No. So we had to select a few. I think we're doing about five. And at the end point, the end point of the romantic road is in Füssen in Germany, but we're going a little further to go to the highest, tallest mountain in Germany called the Zugspitze. Our first stop is Würzburg, which is another two hours from here. We have arrived in Würzburg and behind me you can see the beautiful residence of Würzburg. It's one of the most important uh, Baroque uh, palaces in Europe and it is now on UNESCO's World Heritage List. It was designed by the architect uh, Balthasar Neumann in the 18th century for the Prince Bishop of Würzburg. It took over 16 years to complete. During World War II the building was almost completely destroyed and after, and after the war it was rebuilt. So we are about to go inside where we can visit more than 40 rooms full of beautiful decoration and treasures. So we just finished the tour on the inside and uh, unfortunately we weren't allowed to film or photograph inside. Yeah. Uh, so, so you'll just have to take our word for it that it was really beautiful inside and it was really worth the visit. at our second uh, stop on our road trip through Bavaria. Uh, this town is called Rotenburg op der Tauber and is completely surrounded by uh, medieval walls. Yeah. <laughs> and right now we're going to do a little tour through the streets of uh, Rotenburg op der Tauber under the guidance of a night watchman who does a uh, walk like this every evening at 8. My name is George and I've watched him here. And first of all, I want to give you an idea about the duties an I've watched him had back in the old days. Their main job was to guard the city at night. They were out in the streets like police, taking care of the city when all the others were sleeping. And sure, that was dangerous because all the good people were at home. At night. <laughs> Those who were still out in the streets were the drunken folks and thieves, maybe even any. It's why it was dangerous. And that watchman had to carry this kind of weapon. It's called a hellbot. 
One can do a lot of things <laughs> for multiple years. There were six of us, six night watchmen. Now it's just me and I'm the only one who's still around, still doing it. Thank God. <laughs> and to get rid of the other side. <laughs>